listening to Nasty Knuckles, the Hockey Outlaws Podcast, with your hosts, Terry Nasty Sotomayor and former Philadelphia Flyer Enforcer, Riley Cote, as they go behind the scenes with your favorite NHL players. Time to face off. All right, welcome back. What's happening, Nasty? What's up, Rigorelia? Just been sitting here waiting on you to get ready to yeah, shoot the show right. here. Uh, you know, little... Second shower of the day. Yeah, yeah. I had to take Getting two. Get the frosty right? tips taken care of. I don't of. have frosty tips, <laughs> and you know that. Uh, what's going on, buddy? Uh, not too much in the hockey world, no. really. A uh, little bit of Flyers news. Nothing, uh, nothing that's really good. Uh, yeah, definitely our not. buddy uh, Mikhail Vorobiev, uh, Misha as we called him, or call him, is uh, a little bit of trouble. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Who knows what that looks like, but it doesn't sound like a short, short-term short solution for him. R- yeah, supposedly, I guess what they were saying was he had uh, bought a fake military ID of yeah. some sort. I don't That's know. That's a no-no. Yeah. I never even Round had a... Pond. I never even had never a did fake. That? I never had a not for the military. <laughs> no, of I never even had one for uh, alcohol when yeah. I was a kid. I might have been the only person, but um, well, you look. You probably looked of age, so you didn't have to. Look like I was twelve <laughs> when I was twenty-one. Uh, but yeah, him and uh, we knew about Fedotov in the Arctic Circle there. But supposedly he's only going to have to serve a year. Uh, is what? Uh, yeah, on a military base. Yeah, yeah, for so that's not as bad. It's not as because bad. Because they no. made it seem like it was going to be a lot worse than that. No. So, um, but nonetheless, not good either. Not good. <laughs> you don't want to be screwing around with that. But uh, I wish him the best, man. It's tough, tough news, obviously, for for Flyers fans. But obviously, in his whole in his own life, like that's yeah. that's tough. You know, not he's gonna good. have to face the music here now. So, um, moving on from there, we have uh, some other updates. Well, maybe one other update in the NHL with uh, Robin Leonard. Yes, out, out for the season. Out for the season. Interesting. Interesting uh, hip surgery. Yep. Uh, not sure what happened there. I mean, I know he missed a bunch of games towards the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, seems like an odd time to start dipping into the hip, but... You'd think maybe it would have happened right at the end you know, of the earlier, season. yeah, into the season, or maybe even last year when he wasn't even playing. I don't know, but we don't obviously know. We the don't know the situation details there, but... there, but... <laughs> maybe got hurt training and reactivated it. Who knows? Yeah. But that's tough, tough loss for them. And Yeah, big time. Especially when you got rid of Flurry. Yeah, no doubt, right? It seemed weird when they did it. Now it's, you know, it actually came back to bite him a little bit last year, I believe, and, and then now. But, um, you know, can't do anything about it now. No, no. Wish him best in his recovery. Yep. And then just a couple big name or bigger names floating around in free agency still. Some rumblings around Kadri. Potentially has a backdoor deal with Lou. Who knows? The Islanders. You heard that, Nast? No, I did not know that. Oh, well. Debo tell you that or did Mo? Well, we're on the street. Oh. We're on the street. We'll see. Um, But obviously a big name still floating around there. Um, We got... Big Chara is still floating around. I know he's not a huge name anymore, but, I mean, a veteran presence that he's can just, log a few minutes. And yeah, he's so big. I mean, even if he's your third pair, I mean, the, the man is mean and he's big. And I know he's a, you know, obviously he's slowed down in his, in his older age. But, man, yeah, but just having minimum. a guy like that in a room, in your room. Yeah. And, um, he, what a great man. Like, the stories you hear about him, I was fortunate enough to meet him a few times. And just a really nice guy. But... More importantly, for your team, he, he's, uh, you know, like you said, killing penalties, a big man out there, and he's, he, uh, he likes to swing the stick around, and, and he's got a lot of, obviously, a, like, tons of experience, and he's you never hear a bad word about the guy. Yeah, right. and, and being in the locker room, having a guy like that to help your younger guys, and he's a, he trains very hard. Oh, you know, yeah. he's just a, a, a really good pro. So uh, 100%. I'm sure someone will probably pick him up. I, I would think so. He's obviously been durable. How many years right. now has he been floating around? And, uh, again, great leadership, experience. Uh, and I think you'd be able to get him for league minimum. I think that's what he made last year. Yep. So, I mean, it's not a it's not a huge investment. But right. uh, someone, will, someone will grab him, I'm sure. And then you got uh, Phil the Thrill floating I, around yeah, there. Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. I heard he wants to go to Pittsburgh. Yeah? But I don't know. Uh, not sure if... Hex, he's a huge fan. Yeah, right. of, of the thrill. Uh, yeah. I actually, I mean, I don't know that. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding around because he does like, uh, you know, guys to be fit. Right. But I tell you what, Phil, we've talked about it before. You can say what you want about him. The guy's a special player, and 
still yeah, could skate, score. shoot the puck, yeah. and make plays. So, you know, you could say what you want about his uh, physical condition, but he's been able to do it for years yeah. and put the points up. So yep. uh, I thought he'd be side now, now, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, me too. And then uh, P.K. Subban still floating around. I know he had a little bit of a, a dip in his performance, but um, he could still skate, you know. He can yeah. move the puck. I don't know where he fits in on, you know, a high-end team or even a mediocre team. but um, A power play guy, yeah. you know, probably. He could still shoot the puck, and, and uh, but I wouldn't sign him yet, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, so a few other names, but I think those ones are – Somewhat household names, and, yep. you know, they're on the radar, so we'll see what happens with those guys. And then in Nasty Knuckles land, Nasty, we got a, we got a couple announcements. Yes, we do. We uh, finally locked down the date for our ball hockey tournament, uh, working with the National Ball Hockey League, which was awesome last year. Hopefully it's even better this year. Changed the format a little bit yes, for you, did. buddy. Yes, we you did. You complained for weeks My on end about the knees. <laughs> knees, hip flexors, groins, yeah. The hipsies, the hips They're don't still lie. inflamed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't lie. Uh, but, yeah, talk about that a little bit. A little three-on-three three Yeah, action. three-on-three cross-ice, a little different format. Um, save the pins for save you guys that are, aren't aren't National Ball Hockey League players. So, yeah, we can get some guys uh, out there that wouldn't normally play full ice, right. full court. And it is October 29th, yes. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So it shouldn't Marlton be too hot. Rinks. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hot. Sorry, probably Marlton be, Rinks, yep. Probably a beautiful day. Um, so we're going to get all those links up and uh, available in the next day or two here. Just wanted to plant the seed. Looking forward to it. Again, three on three, cross ice. Sign up as an individual or, you know, or a team. So uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit unique format. So. Yes. <clears throat> It's going to be fun. Great Looking day. forward to it. Yeah, exactly. Lots so. of stuff going on that day while we're there, so it'll be no a lot doubt. of fun. And then um, getting primed up for a big tourney this weekend, Nass. Tell you what, check it for charity. It's here, and Nasty Knuckles has a team in. Oh, yeah. See what happens. Hopefully a little better performance than last year. I hope so. We didn't, uh, we didn't win a game <laughs> playing with uh, our good friends with the Warriors and a few other guys mixed in there. Um, I know they're playing again this year as well. So, wish them luck unless we're playing them. Duff, I know he's told me if I come through the crease, he's swinging. Well, I'll be right there with you. Oh, well, you better be because <laughs> when I go down, you better start swinging. <laughs> I'll leave you on your own. Take care of that mess yourself, Nass. Great. And Mains will be running around like an oh, absolute yeah. maniac. Yeah, deal with him. That's oh about your God. weight class. So you can deal with Mains. I don't want anything to do with any of no? that stuff. I just, I'm a lover, man. I'm nah. like you. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I might stick someone and then get behind you. I've seen that before. That's okay. I, see, I actually th- seen you two-hand a guy this past <laughs> season right across the head. So hey, I don't know what you're talking he about. He deserved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were getting in one there. Oh, boy. And then you I, just, uh, I don't want to do that. You were picking up quarters after <laughs> yes, that. Yes, I was. And, you know, I have strings on my gloves connected <laughs> yeah. to the my elbow pad, so they're not coming off, boys. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You're, you're going to compete this weekend. You might get your nose yes. dirty. Yes. Get the hands dirty. It's, um, I ho- yeah, I don't know. I just hope I don't embarrass myself too bad. Um, but yeah. it is a, it's a great tournament. A lot of guys come in. You know, um, Tony D'Angelo has a team. Danny Breer has a team. Johnny Gaudreau. Yeah. Uh, lots of pros come in and play. Obviously, we're not – well, you're a pro. Thank you're God a, I'm not in that division, though. Well, actually, you could play in that division, but you couldn't have – me on your team in that division. No? I, well, I could fill water. We talked about it. I'm yeah, telling you, I can fill the water up and everything. But, have the uh, tape ready to go. Yep. Yep. But it's a great tournament. Um, Phil Passarelli does a, a really good job. And um, it's just fun to be around. You know, it's just a bunch of guys that love hockey. And, and um, it's really competitive. So it's a little it different. It really is. It's a little different than when you're playing your men's league. Obviously, it's competitive. But this is like, you're like, whoa, okay. This is another. Like, it's another dimension it's, of yes. speed. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I was hurting last year. It was, it was for real. Yeah, probably should have played in a couple preseason games to get my pins warmed up. But yeah, but it's all right. It's all right. You're skating tonight? No, you're not no, skating no, tonight. No, lower back injury. Whoa, 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 don't oh. give away injuries here. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a lower body injury. You know, start to, <laughs> holy cow, boys. You, you know oh, the rules? Yeah, Come I know on. The rules. Yeah, I don't want to show my hand. No, Dude, uh, maybe I was just bluffing that. You probably were. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be a lot of fun Uh so we're really looking forward to this weekend, and um, I can't wait. Hopefully, we we mix a win in this year. Yeah, we got to. We got it. We got to make some noise. Yeah, we got we, we got to lay down the groundwork for next year. You know. 
Yeah, we got street cred. Yeah, big Vince Williams coming out. Oh yeah, solid two twenty five. He told me <laughs> yeah. ripped as as ripped. usual. That's what he said to me. Uh, great guys, like some of our men's league guys are playing with us. Um, uh, Ryan Vance, who was a pro mm-hmm. uh, back in the day, actually played with Boosh. Uh, he actually played in um, in Ohio where you played a uh, year after you, I think he said. In Dayton? Yeah, he played in Dayton one year. Did he? Yeah, uh, he was telling me that the other night. Mm. But uh, anyway, we got a pretty good team put together. Jamie Lundmark's joining us. Oh, yeah. Us. Yeah, um, Zingo. Yeah, Zingo. Um, so it's going to be fun. I, yeah. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. What do you got down there, Nast? I'll tell you what I got right here. Baller get a good look at it in a little bit. But this was uh-huh. our team, the Squirts from Hollydale, uh, the Hurricanes. Uh, Squirt A, and they were rocking the Nasty Knuckles uniform that uh, are kind of modeled after the Little Caesars uh, organization in Detroit, and they looked sharp. Yeah, well done. And they they came up a little short in the finals. They played a, a mix of team uh, from all over the U.S. and in Canada, and uh, but they, they made it to the finals, and they had a really good showing. Uh, Hannah, the goalie, she had – did not give up a goal until the finals. Wow. So she had a really Impressive. good tournament, and, and all the kids did well. Um, we'll, we'll put a picture up for everybody to see all their names. And uh, Coach Nick Sauer and, and Bob Bochamp and even even uh, Coach Hughes, which is, is um, one of the coaches at Hollydale as well, and then Nick's dad. Uh, Bill Warner. So it was. Uh, they had a great weekend and they looked sharp. And yeah, I was gonna say they really, really well done on the lot, jerseys. Yeah, the lot, uniforms yep. combo there is nice, good color. Good yep. job, Nast. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. We, Stepped I, your game up. Yeah, we had to. We had to. We kind of copied, copied them. But it, it was a great idea by Champ. He was the one that kind of came up with it, and uh, we did that a few weeks ago. So they looked sharp. Beautiful. Hopefully, our jerseys this weekend look as uh, as, as sharp. Well, let's as hope they show up. Yeah, <laughs> check the, we're, we're we're waiting. check customs. <laughs> Checks in the mail. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're waiting. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, real quick, um, that thing on your head there. It's, it's, oh, the old, it's getting bigger. The old. The old, the the old bun? man bun? You, you're not no, going you to have it. it. You're just going to let the flow go, like, right? All this weekend? The helmet? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can't, you so can't rock gonna... a bun underneath the, the bucket, dude. Oh, when I saw you on the ice two weeks ago, you had the bun, no hat. Oh, well, I was just mucking it up. That just... place was packed, and they were just chirping. Who's the guy with the man bun? No. There was nobody watching. <laughs> All two nor, people? Nor, <laughs> nor caring. Um, but this this bun, man, is getting a little heat. Yeah, you got a little heat on YouTube. Yeah. Gentleman went yeah. after you a little bit. Says he just can't stop looking at the bun. Well, I mean, it's tough. You, you kind of notice it. I keep looking up. I keep thinking there's something on your head there. But well, there's, there's a bun up there. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, I would just recommend... Uh, People who have complaints about looking at the bun, just li- <laughs> just just tune in and listen. You yeah, Apple, you don't have to Apple watch Apple podcast, it. Yeah, right? you don't have to exactly. watch it. Exactly. Um, but this bun's probably going to get a little bit bigger before it disappears. And Unless I cut that thing when you're sleeping. Yeah, and ass might get after it. But, <laughs> um, but it'll be rocking. The flow will be rocking this weekend. Yep. Back to the old days. Yeah, that's right. Let her, let her buck. But the only, pro- the only difference is you're 40 pounds lighter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. A little bit yeah. of a difference. Yeah, right. So... Looking forward syndrome. to it. Looking yeah. forward to it. Should be good. I got my wheels here now. So you got to grind them down, grind yeah, them up here a little bit. I was going to get Hans from uh, Mighty Ducks to do them. I mean, he's like 98 because your skates are, <laughs> are about that old. So, Well, give uh, me some new wheels now. Yeah, hey. some new steel, something. All right, we'll do it. We'll go over this. We'll uh, we'll sharpen them up. All right, Nass, what are you seeing with these bad boys? Well, um, I'm seeing it. I need to just put them in the garbage can. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing what I see a lot with men's league guys. Um, Riles, like, you got to take your foot back out. Look at your rust here. What's wrong with rust? Uh, it's no good. No? It's bad for biz. No, All right. It's, uh, it's not good. It's uh, George Dub. You know what I mean? George, it's game order. George W. Bush. Of course. League. Um, honestly, uh, you're, these are pretty beat up, especially for a skater like you, you on being seriously being serious about it you're uh these are pretty beat up but a lot of men's league guys come in and they just want to change these and there's a new steel like the best steel you can get is this black steel uh step steel makes it howie steel makes it howie um that's not gonna fit in my no not in these because these are like from 1969 i think um the I've holders, heard that long you know you haven't but uh they, they do actually still make steel for these and if you're not willing to get the new skates we're gonna we're definitely gonna 
get you some new steel. But I'm going to touch these up so you can fly and scoring goals for Nasty Knuckles this weekend. Oh, we got to. We got to. It looks look pretty worn in, though, those, those blades. Uh, the, uh, last time I sharpened them was last year. You remember <laughs> that? Like, last year. It was a, it was a strong skate sharp. It, it was. It, it was. Well, year, you're right? going to get the best one here, that's for sure. But let's work on these, buddy. All right, let's do it. Get the bun out of oh, here. My bad, my bad. Look. Get the bun out. <laughs> All right, oh, Rex. look at those. Look at that finished big cat. Mm, should you be know, flying. You know, once you got to me as a player to Philadelphia, you notice you got in the league a couple years later. Yeah, it's all steel. Skating. Of course, skating. of course. Obviously not the boot, but the blades. Maybe the boot, maybe not so much. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, you'll be ready to roll now. We do need to get you some new skates, but uh, you'll be flying. Can't wait. I, I need that. Let's go. All right, Nas. Well, I appreciate you grinding the wheels. Yep, of course. Get those bad boys prepped. What are you looking at? I just want to feel that thing. Um, you like, yeah. You're obsessed with the man yeah. bike. <laughs> oh, I am. Uh, you're you're ready just, to go. You're, you're ready. Not, you're not that tall, Nasty. What? Yeah, a couple phone books. Yeah. That, it's, a little it's step not bad. Stool. Uh, but let's seriously, on. let's get after it this weekend. Absolutely. We need a great A effort. Yes. We need you to move the pins. I'll no gliding. Them. Like Sudzy I'll, says, no gliding. I'll be, he'll probably have a sign there as usual, but, uh, really looking forward to the weekend and all seriousness. I wish I was this tall. I could probably play D and be in front and be a madman, but, uh. But you're not. I'm not. But we're going to have a good weekend anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. Should be a blast. Yes. Going to prime the hip flexors, prime the groins and hammies. Yes. So they're not uh, as sore as they were last year. Debo said he'd be happy to give you a little stretchy. (laughs) Yeah, right. Stretchy stretchy, bull in there. uh, Oh, does it all. Jack of all trades. Yeah. So uh, great weekend this weekend. Can't wait to tell everybody about it with the big championship. Hopefully we win. Maybe not. But we're going to try. We're going to put the effort in. Yes. And uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube and on all social platforms that Nasty Knuckles is on.